Good afternoon and welcome to The Balance of Life. I am Pastor Angel Ferguson and I thank you so very much for joining us today. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It is our honor and our pleasure to come and spend some time with you in the Word of God. God is is just simply amazing and uh, I know that we have something great and in store for you to share in the Word of God on today. Uh, we're going to share some words of encouragement with you as we want you to be encouraged in the work of the Lord. We want you to um, mount up. You are an eagle. You are a part of the kingdom of God. And so uh, this morning uh, as I was meditating and thinking on some things and continuing to keep ministries and businesses and prayer. And let me just say that if you have not connected with us in prayer, uh, if you have not given us your ministry name or your business name, please do so. Uh, we did... Uh, get a request on yesterday um, to keep in prayer Ghana so uh, we definitely want to uh, keep uh, Ghana in our prayers uh, they sent us over a request via our social media page and so we will definitely keep them in our prayers I know that God is uh, he is everywhere and he is not short uh, he has a very long arm and a very long reach. And so let us be reminded to uh, keep one another in prayer, no matter where we may be upon the earth. If you would like to uh, include your ministry or your business as we are strategically uh, preparing to, um, and uh, so uh, I could hear the word summit <laughs> so it is uh, we're going to prepare and put together a summit for ministries and businesses and we are getting some tools ready now for that summit and if you would like to be a part of that please email us at the balance of life one at yahoo.com and uh, we will roll out the details for the ministry and business summit um, so excited I, I I'm ready to um, give the name of um, uh, the product and, and the tools that we have been creating but I cannot do that just yet so hold tight hold tight we have some things coming forth uh, that we want to share with you as we have been in the presence of the Lord and he has uh, awaken us and he has uh, given us a vision and we are working to bring it to pass amen amen if you've just tuned in you've tuned into the balance of life i am pastor angel ferguson and i thank you so very much for joining us today this is the day that the lord has made listen we are rejoicing we are glad in it if you are available on tonight and you're not busy with your own ministries bible study and if you are led to do so i would love for you to join us via facebook live for virtual bible study with faith outreach deliverance church bridgeton new jersey and uh, that begins at 7 o'clock p.m. tonight. We're going to continue our topic on a fellowship with God and looking at the benefits of that fellowship. So um, if you are led to, if you're not uh, busy with your own ministries Bible study, I would love for you to be our guest virtually. Amen. There are two scriptures that uh, I would like to share with you today and to encourage you um, the first is going to be over in Psalms the 27th chapter and the 14th verse and it reads as follows wait on the Lord be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart wait I say on the Lord and in my meditation time this morning 
that is what I heard in my spirit, the encouragement. Sometimes we become anxious when we get a glimpse of what uh, God wants us to do, what he is instructing us to do. Uh, prime example, I am so ready to share with you what he is leading us to do. But I can't do that just yet. I have to wait. <laughs> so um, it is imperative that we wait upon the Lord and that we allow him to renew our strength. It says, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say on the Lord. And so I say to you, wait, wait on the Lord and let him lead and direct your path. Uh, slow down. We become so excited and we want things to happen and, and we're in a rush sometimes to share those things, uh, but uh, we have to wait and allow him to sh strengthen you. Be anxious for nothing is what I'm saying to you also. Be anxious for absolutely nothing. Uh, all things will happen in its due time. Our job is to move according to the will of God, move according to the Holy Spirit, and present yourself. Let's present ourselves as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. And so I say to you, wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Let him strengthen you. Let him direct your path. Let him lead and guide you in the way that you should go. When I come back, I'm just going to take a, a break and share some things with you. I want to go to another scripture text. And that scripture text is going to be over in Isaiah, the 40th chapter and the 31st verse. I want to share that with you. These are two scriptures that came to my spirit, my uh, inner man on this morning. And I want to share them with you. I believe it is what is needed at this time. If you haven't had a opportunity to visit us on our website, please do so at angelfergusonministries.com. On the website is our College of Ministry and Mentoring, the curriculum that we offer in the length of time. There are some free tools for you. That's right, free tools for you. Our life applications as well as our Bible study tools. You can receive those things free no charge to you. You can also sign up to receive the life applications emailed directly to you every first Monday of the month. So that is when we send them out and we also make sure that they are available on our website as well. Also, if you are a author, a new author, an existing author and you're looking for a publisher please check out wtiproductions.org that is our publishing division wtiproductions.org and you can view some of the items that we have published over the years and also uh, when you look at our uh, college of ministry and mentoring program um, you will find that the workbooks that are listed there have been published through our publishing division. All right, let's get over to Isaiah 40 and 31. It says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. So, 
my dearly beloved let's take a look let's dive into this but they that wait upon the Lord now the first scripture we gave you was over in Psalms 27 14 talking about what waiting on the Lord it says wait uh, Psalms 27 14 says wait on the Lord be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart wait I say on the Lord so those are some instructions wait on the Lord be of good courage and when we do that he shall strengthen thine heart wait on the Lord now Isaiah 40 and 31 talks to us again don't you just love it how he talks to us so he's talking to us today Isaiah 40 and 31 says but they that wait upon the Lord here it is again shall renew their strength when we wait on the Lord our strength will be renewed they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not be faint that is the word of the Lord and there is one more that we're going to take a look at in each one of these scriptures listen I um, didn't have my notebook next to me so what I did was is I put them in my phone I always do that put the message in my phone uh, so that I can go back and dig into it unless I have a notebook right there handy so our third scripture for today I pray that you are um, encouraged today and and it's wonderful when all the encouragement come directly from the Lord through scripture so another scripture text that we want to give to you today for encouragement is found over in Galatians the sixth chapter and the ninth verse and it says and let us not be weary in well-doing for in due t season ye shall reap if we faint not so do you see how all three of those tie together it's telling us and and listen I am the first partaker I am the first partaker of waiting on the Lord being reminded that as I wait on him how I'm supposed to wait in good courage and as I wait and I wait in good courage meaning uh, I'm not complaining in my waiting I'm not sitting idle in my waiting uh, I'm not um, my faith uh, is strong in my waiting I am not uh, I'm not unwavering and unstable in my waiting I'm in good courage my hope my faith is in him I have an expectation that uh, what I'm waiting on shall come to pass and so whatever you are waiting on uh, only you know what you are waiting on you could be waiting on an answer to your prayers you could be waiting on the manifestation of a healing a manifestation of deliverance a a, a manifestation of a breakthrough receive it in your spirit first and then it happens in the natural and so as you are waiting on those things from the Lord be of good courage and when the time of weariness comes in the times of uh, where where uh, the flesh wants to be impatient go back to this word Psalms 27 14 wait on the Lord be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart wait I say on the Lord and then to my let me tell you something because you are an eagle you are strong uh, you have good eyesight and when it comes to the things of the Lord but it does not mean that um, negative thoughts won't hit your mind we just have to know what to do with those negative thoughts and so that's where Isaiah 40 and 31 comes in coming again to remind us through the prophet Isaiah but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint and then he gave me 
Galatians 6 and 9. He was talking so good to me this morning. I thank him for that. And let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint now. Faint not. So don't give up. Don't give up. I know that... Um, there are pressures. Sometimes there are pressures to perform. There are pressures to meet a certain expectation. There are pressures about the attacks, the hits uh, that one goes through in ministry, in life. It is to build your faith. It does not feel good. It does not feel comfortable. I'm never going to tell you that trials and tribulations are good and comfortable. But what I can share with you are the words through Scripture. All Scripture are given by the inspiration of God. So that you are encouraged in your current circumstances. You are encouraged in your present state. That is our purpose that is our design that is what we are here for to encourage you where you currently are it is a spiritual nudge to help you along the way and so sometimes encouragement could come in and it could cause us to want to stop and not move forward but the power of the word of God the the dunamis power of the Word of God, of the Holy Spirit that uh, operates through us. When we speak the very Word of God, it is power in the Word and it is ignited to connect to your faith and it is a nudge uh to, to, from the place where you're where you're trying where the, the flesh doesn't want to move forward why because i'm tired i i've been doing this for a while uh, it doesn't seem like it's going anywhere listen something is happening in the spiritual realm it has to happen in the spirit first and then it manifests in the natural and so you keep doing what god has called you to do don't give up when you are doing what God has called you to do and you are doing it according to his instructions not yours that you have relinquished your will and you have taken up his will you have you are doing the will of God on earth as it is in heaven encouragement is needed sometimes you have got to encourage yourself Sometimes there might not be an ear to listen. There might not be a physical voice to come by and, and encourage you. You might not receive the text message. You might not receive those things. But what you do have is you have the Holy Spirit that is there to remind you to bring back to your remembrance the things of God. I believe that's what he was sharing with me today. And I want to share that with you. Be not weary in well-doing, for in due season, what is that due season? That's all about God's timing, knowing that our time is not his time and our thoughts are not his thoughts. Our ways are not his ways. That's over in Isaiah 55. But he tells us, that's over in Isaiah 55. Um, and, and I'll go to the ninth verse. It says, For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth in bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. And so I say to you, as you are doing what God has called you to do you're following his instructions and he has promised to be with you in time of trouble we have read in his word where he says what happens when we wait on the Lord this is a benefit of our fellowship with him this is our benefit this is the benefit of waiting 
upon the Lord. This is the benefit of fellowship with Him. I'm waiting on Him. So wait. Oh God, that's so good. That's just so good. That's good in my spirit. I'm super excited about the Word of God. So I encourage you, wait. Wait on the Lord. He'll Let Him renew your strength. Don't you try to do it. Don't you try to renew your own strength. Let Him renew your strength. That is the benefit of knowing that you're waiting on the promises of God. That your mind is renewed. That's where that comes in at. Um, your your strength, it, it, it happens in the mind. The mind says you're tired, which trickles down to the flesh, where is the heart of every man. And then it, it attaches itself to the flesh. That's tiredness. We need to be renewed. We need to be rejuvenated. We need to be refreshed. That's that mounting up. And so I want to encourage you today, no matter what you may be facing, encourage yourself with the Word of God. Pull out that Bible, or if you look up scriptures on your phone, if you have apps, Bible, online, however you may have it. If you have to write out the scripture and put it on a sticky note and put it in your bathroom, on your mirror, on your dresser, uh, create yourself a sign, whatever you have to do to encourage yourself, encourage yourself. Encourage yourself with something that is reliable, something that is steadfast and unremovable, something that you can count on. We just shared with you. Isaiah 55, if it pleased him to say it, it's, we just read it. It said, it shall not return unto him void. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. So he sent his word. Oh, this is good. This is good. He sent your, his word to heal your disease. It pleased him to send his word to heal your disease. It pleased him when he said, call upon me in the day of trouble and I will answer you. It pleased him to send you an answer. It pleased him to send you a savior, which is his son. It pleased him. And what it pleased him to do, he did it, and it shall not return unto him void. It shall accomplish what he sent it out to do. He that hath begun, begun a good work is faithful. He's faithful to complete it. I want you to be encouraged. Be encouraged today. So the scripture texts that we gave you today are found over in Psalms 27, 14, Isaiah 40, 31, Galatians 6 and 9, and guess what? Yes, we did. We added Isaiah 55, and I encourage you to read 6 through 13. Words of encouragement all from our father and since I just added I need to write that down God is good he is good and he knows where we are and he knows exactly what we need and when we needed that's how good he is that's how much he knows us so when, when we pray, and we pray and we say, Lord, you know your people, and you know what they have need of. You know all about them. I don't. You know what spiritual food that they need. You know where they are spiritually. You, you know where they are mentally, emotionally, and physically. He knows all about us. 
And I don't have to be in the same room with you. I don't have to ha have a conversation with you because that's that's of the flesh. I want I want him to meet your needs, but I, I need him. He knows all about it. I don't need to know all about it. I don't need to know the gory details. I really don't. All I need to know is that God can supply all of your needs. No matter what it is. I believe it. I stand on it. I live it. I walk in it. I sleep in it. I breathe it. I talk it. That is my life. That is just how much faith I have. And so when I pray and I say, what is it that your people need? We are your people and the sheep of your pasture. What is it that we need? And he will direct us in the word of God to give what is needed. And so that was my prayer and he delivered. He gave me what was needed for us. Remember, I'm the first partaker. And so I take it in and I receive it. I accept it and then I can share it. So this day, this October the 27th, 2021, on this Wednesday, these words are for you. These words are for me. I pray that the Holy Spirit, even after today, that as we have shared these words, as we, have, as we have shared the scriptures, that he can bring these things back to our remembrance when they are needed again. Because trust me, there are days where uncertainty and we question our walk, we question our assignments, we question, we question the dream, we question the vision, we question the mission, we question, we question, am I where I'm supposed to be? Am I do at least, at least we should be asking, am I doing all that you call me to do? Am, am I all in? And what you call me to do? Am I doing things that are pleasing in your sight? We question. And then there are those days that we listen. We get overwhelmed and we get tired. And this flesh says, mm -mm, I need a break. I don't want to do it no more. When those days come. When those moments reach your mind. And they try to hold you in a place of stagnation. Reach for the word of God. Encourage yourself. Through the word of God. Not through vain deceits. Not through um, things that have no profit. You know, empty words. But the word of God. It is full and it is rich. And it will pay off. Because God said so. And we believe. Whose report are you going to believe? I'm going to believe the report of the Lord. I'm going to believe the word. I'm going to remain faithful. And I'm going to wait. In good courage. Be encouraged today. Step out of that cobweb of woe is me. Because as you wait on the Lord, He shall renew your strength so that you can mount up with wings as an eagle. And, and, and listen, watch the eagle. The eagle soars high. I pray that what we've shared with you today has been food unto your soul. It's always our honor to come and share with you what the Word of God is sharing with us. On tomorrow, we will be out, so we will have a uh, pre-recorded 
broadcast for the balance of life on tomorrow october the 28th 2021 but know that i love you have a blessed day everyone stay encouraged